Congratulations on the film. Oh, thank you very much, yes. Um, it's a fantastic story. What was the kind of inspiration behind um, it? The inspiration was I've always been obsessed with the Second World War and I worked behind the scenes in telly for a long time, and it, which is an extraordinarily trivial, trivial place to work where everything seems important. And I started wondering whether it still seemed that important when bombs were actually dropping outside the studio. And, and, and I thought, what would it have been like to make a film during the war? And that's where all my research started. Was it a long process in terms yeah, of the research? I can imagine it's a yeah, lot Yeah, I, I researched for a, about a year and then I started writing, and, but I kept on researching while I was doing it. And, I became quite obsessed with 1940s dialogue and only read books that were written in the 1940s and, and um, sort of lived in the 1940s for the five years it took me to write, yeah. So well, are you someone that's, obviously with, with, with movies being adapted into screenplays, sometimes writers are taken off the project and kind of takes them away from it. Was this something where you were kept involved? And um, They were very nice to me. Um, they, they sent me every draft and, and I was kept involved. But it's, it's interesting because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a book with a lot of plot and... And I don't think I would have had the necessary ruth ruthlessness because characters had to come out and it all had to be thinned down and Gabby did such a good job. And so I saw all the successive drafts and, and had comments, but nothing very swinging. I just en enjoyed the process slightly from one step back and they were very good and they always kept me involved. I guess at the beginning you couldn't have imagined the, the cast that would be attached no. to this, Bill Nye, Gemma Wrighton. I mean, that, that must be it's fantastic to get those guys involved. Well, I mean, all along I thought, oh, this won't get made, this won't get made. And then, then, then a, a, a script writer was on, and you think, OK, OK, the chance of it getting made had gone up to about 0.01%. And then, then you've got a director, and oh, it's gone up to about 5%. And, you know, I just never believed it would get made. It's extraordinary. Even with the producers, I guess, uh, Stephen has produced Carol and Brooklyn. I mean, it's a, I know. a good run of form, isn't it? What a pair of <laughs> producers to have. Yes, I mean, between them. Their CV is fantastic. So um, it's been extraordinary, really. It's extraordinary it happened at all, and extraordinary it happened in some way so smoothly and so amiably. And I'm, you know, I'm really proud of it. It's, it's, you know, there are obviously differences with the book, but there are bound to be. I, I wrote a whole book about the compromises inherent in making a film, so I can hardly complain if bits of it aren't the same as the book. It, I'm really pleased with it. And for people who haven't read the book, what do you hope they kind of take away from the, seeing the film? <coughs> that ordinary people are capable of doing extraordinary things in extraordinary circumstances um, people during the war they, they were living in a, in a in a sort of world that's almost unimaginable where you, you were in a shelter or under the stairs for half the night and then you got up and you did a job and and people are unchanged people are still capable of doing that still capable of doing extraordinary things these were only ordinary people yeah. And, uh, and the, I think what's known as the Blitz spirit is, is that will to be ordinary, that will to do ordinary things and live an ordinary life in extraordinary times. Yeah, I think yeah. you have a great audience for this one. I think you get lots of people. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!